Hello class. Today, you guys will be doing intro to melodic writing number three. And so this is where we actually start to make two melodic phrases that create a section. So the purpose of this video is to remind you how to do that and to go make sure that you follow these steps. I'm not going to go over all of these steps, but I'm just going to show you what the process is and go through this so that you can see how easy it is to create melodies. Now, as we all know, the first note to each measure must be within the chord. So let's see what these, uh, what these uh, chords are. Also realize that in this situation, the chords are identical for all of them. For all the exercises, there are three exercises in total, you, the chords will not be the same for all three exercises. I think the last exercise, the chords do change, so be sure to watch to make sure that you're, you've done your chord analysis. But I'm just gonna do the chord analysis here. This first chord has an F, an A, and a C. This chord here, if I remember my bass clef, A is my bottom line, B, C. This is a C, E, and G. What could this be? I think it, I think it could be a B flat. <laughs> okay, um, so this is a B flat. This is a D, and this is an F. And here, we have F, A, C again. F, A, and C. Just remember, while we're reading notes, it's an ace on the bottom, A in the space, A, C, E. And it's a face on top. This is on top, and the space is F, A, C, E. Face on top. So, I need starting pitches for my measures here, and I, and I have to remember that the last note in this measure must be within this chord as well. So I could choose F, A, or C. I'm going to choose an F. I will choose C, E, or G. I'm going to choose a low G to be exciting. Choose a, oh, I guess I'll choose a B flat, right? And also remember to watch your accidentals because your accidentals will be here. So make sure that all your Bs are flatted throughout here in this exercise. The accidentals will be different for each exercise, so please pay attention. And the next one, I'm going to just have a C. There's a C in the chord, so I'm just going to put a C here. And for an F, I'm just going to end it with an F. Now, just so you know, if you end your chord progression with, an, with the root, it'll have that nice resolve sound. If you end with a third, it'll sound like it's lifting. And if you end with a C, which is, which is the fifth in this situation, it'll sound like proclamation. But more about that later when we start talking about the emotional, on the section where we talk about the emotional properties of melody. So now I've got all my, I have my starting notes and my ending notes. And I've just put dots slightly, um, just in case I may want to change them. So when I go to erase, it won't be too hard to erase it. Now, all I have to do is create dots that work in stepwise motion to the each dot, and I will have a melody. Draw this dot here. Okay, these notes here. Notes, notes, notes. Notes, notes, notes. So we got notes here. Oh, and also, and also I have to make sure that I uh, follow my rules. Uh, I have to have four to six eighth notes, which is 
that's one eighth note, that's two eighth notes, that's three, and that's four eighth notes. Or I can have up to six eighth notes or, or eighth moments. So those could be four to six eighth rests or a mixture. Either one is fine. So as I'm drawing these dots, I start to imagine, okay, I need four counts in each one. I need to, you know, do, do that whole thing. So I keep going, try to make a pathway from this B to this C. Made this pathway. Now let me make sure that all my all my notes are in stepwise motion, meaning I I'm going if I'm at a B, I go to a C or a D. Oh, and look at this. Mr. Lardy made a mistake. This is on this B here, and I've got a, a leap of a third, right? Mr. Lardy will tell you to go to the back of the line. So therefore, I'm just gonna draw another note here. And and I think and I think uh, that will kind of work, right? So, but I'm going to have to make all these eighth notes. No, not all of them. I can just make two of them. Oh, and if you're in a situation like this, where you have one that's on the line, the stem could go either way, and the other one that's uh, underneath and it can go up or down. Um, follow the one that has to be a direction. So this one has to go up. So I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna do that. And also make sure that your direction of your beam follows the same contour. Sorry, make sure the direction of your beam follows the same contour of the note. These notes go down my beam should also go down. That's why pencil is so important, folks. Even the great, awesome people like Largy makes mistakes. But now I've got two eighth notes, two out of my six. Bam, 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 quarter notes. Bam, bam. Okay, and so do I want to burn up all my eighth notes here? But I'm seeing like, okay, so I have this note, this note, and I've got to move in stepwise motion here. So I'm just going to erase this one so that I have four counts here. One, two, three, four. But this note is also the same now. So just, I mean, I could either put a rest there or leave it the same. But in this situation, I'm going to put a rest to keep it interesting, a quarter rest. One count two, count three, count four. And then I'm like, bam, 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 bam. This is another note I can just get rid of. Motion that did not, doesn't absolutely need to happen. Now I've got a melody here. So that's my first melody, stepwise motion. And even after over a rest, you still need to move in step. You don't get to leap because there's a rest. Step, 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 step. Great. Now I'm checking my accidentals. Follow my B flat line. Bam, B flat right there. I make sure that the middle of my flat is right in between uh, in the middle. The, the line is in, the middle of my flat is in the line or space that my pitch is on. I'm just gonna draw that a little bit neater. Bam right there. Now I keep going. Another B flat. Hmm, I've got a B sharp in order to catch all these B flats. <laughs> all right, and then here, B flat again. But I'm gonna move this pitch over a little bit to make a little bit of room for my B flat. B flat, bam. Follow my B flat line, B flat. Can anything else B flat? No, all right? And I did not use the B flat octave up here or octave down there. This melody is complete. Now I'm going to draw my second melody. 
right? The chords are the same, so I can get to use these again. Since I started with F on this one, I'm gonna start with A. Oop, but that's a C. Oh, Marty, no one's perfect, not even Marty. That's an A. And I'm gonna go to a C, there's a C there. I'm gonna go to a B flat. See the B flat there. And then I'm going to go to the, hmm, what's the, I'm just gonna do close notes here. So that's the B flat, there's an A that's close. So I'm gonna go to the A again, and I'm going to end on an A. So it's just going to be, it's gonna have a little lift to it probably. And I think I want, I've just decided, da, 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 da. So I went bam, 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 bam. Count one, two, three, four. Now, I have to have at least four eighth notes. So I'm just gonna move, I'm just gonna see where I can move in quarter notes. And since I can have a quarter note here, I'm gonna put a rest there. This measure is done, right here. Another rest there. And that's a B flat. I've got a B flat here. And I'm gonna be fancy, I'm gonna put an eighth rest here. And I'm going to put an eighth note, another B flat eighth note here. Boom, boom. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, eighth moments. Right there. And since that counts uh, three and four, I can beam those. And I have to remember my flag, my staff, my little flag. It always goes to the right. So let me check my, my stuff here. Bam. Stepwise motion. That's a step. That's a step. That's no motion, no motion. That's one step, one step, one step. Bam, 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 bam. That melody is good. Now, all I have to do is copy that. Copy this one here and copy this one here. Bam. Right there. Mm, 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 mm. Copy, copy. Copy, copy. Copy, copy. Copy, copy. Copy, copy. Copy, copy. All right, then we got another B flat. Another B flat. All right, we got that. We got a quarter rest. Got another quarter, baby. All right, then we, then we got that. Run that. Or not C. I have to C and make sure I'm on the right pitch. <gasps> but Lordy just realized something. He made a leap of a third. Oh snap! See? Oh man. So, but I but that note right there, that F is in my chord. So I'm just gonna make sure I move up. So I can go up by step, and then I've and then I'm there. E, I'm sorry, C D E F. C C D E F to my F. Bam. So I'm still I'm still checking my work as I copy my work, right? Because you can still make mistakes with these rules. I'm not perfect, I'm just almost perfect. Bam. So that looks good, that's copied, that's copied. Got my thing, got my thing, and I'm here. Bam, I'm still checking my work, I'm working on step, bam. Making sure that's on a C, C, B flat, I have to be sure. Bam, B flat again. Eighth rest, B flat. Eighth note, A, 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 A. And then we got four A's again. 
just like your grades will be. Oh my gosh, because you guys are so smart. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 got my stems. Bam, you can't hold my stems. There we are. There's my, there's my completed work. Two melodies. This melody's here, it's copied here. This melody, my second melody here, and it's copied here. All right, one thing. You also wanna make sure that you check for your errors. One thing I did not do, I did not check to make sure uh, that B flats were done for the last line. I did that for this line, but I did not do that for this line. So I wanna go through. Here's my B flat line. Bam, there was an error. And I wanna go through all the way through. Bam, B flat, B flat, B flat. That's good. Let me make sure again. Bam, that same error again, B flat. Gotta be sharp in order to get those. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, bam. All right, so this is being, this is ready to be played now. All right, let's see what this sounds like. Have fun with your melodies. When uh, I return, I will check your melodies and all the melodies that are correct, I will play. Have a good time.